guys. So today, like I mentioned in my last video, I am going to be installing HIDs today. Uh, I'm gonna go out and buy a kit and I'm actually gonna have them install it. Now the only reason why is because uh, I've worked with HIDs before and I've worked with like different bulb sizes and stuff installing it from my car or my dad's car and like sometimes it went well sometimes it didn't but I'm just gonna let them do like install it on this one just cuz you know just to get it over with so lights are gonna be done and something else is gonna be done as well but I will mention that after my HIDs are installed so I am back guys and I forgot the white HID 6k lights low beam They're much better, I know you can't really see it now because it's daylight, but trust me, they look so much better. And the fact that I changed them to black background headlights, so they're not silver background anymore. I think they look really clean. Um, I still have to wait to get my DRLs back. My LED DRLs are being shipped. Uh, I'm gonna change my side marker lights also, so they're literally gonna be all white. Um, but everything else as far as lighting is done, finally. Um, I'm just waiting on those. So yeah guys, and on to my next thing I'm gonna do on my car. And I will catch you at that location. Well, my next mod after my lights were these. And I did, if I can point at it, 35%. 5% on the front, the little strip, and then 35 on the front. I say it looks good. Uh, it was really cheap. One of my friends did it for me in his shop. Um, both this and that costed like, I'd say like 110 or so. Really cheap. Uh, doesn't mean the quality is cheap, it's just the cost that he did for me was cheap because I brought my old car there before. So yeah, guys. What's up, guys? Um, this is late at night, but I am doing my third mod of the day. Um, the third mod is gonna be LED DRLs. So basically, when you pull down the e-brake, your technically your high beams would be your DRL for Subarus, uh, WRX and STIs of this generation. So when you pull it down, pull the e-brake down, that those lights they light up are uh, DRLs. Now, usually, typically speaking, they're yellow. I'm gonna be switching them to white LEDs. So let's go. So basically what we're changing out is this light right here. That is the DRL and the high beam at the same time. What we're gonna be switching out with is this. Those are gonna be the LEDs, but in order to power it for a higher power for high beams as well, we have to use a wiring harness and it's actually really really easy um this black right here and this black right here are ground they are attached to ground uh like ground screws so anything any metal on the car or screw on the car would work fine that you would attach that to and then the red that connects to the red terminal of your battery um, that's the last thing that you connect and then everything else you just connect to your basically your bulb the connectors so I will begin doing it I am completely doing this by myself now so I won't have any help doing it but I will show you once I'm done alright guys so what's going on here is that wire that I showed you uh, there's one red this red wire I'm sorry it's really hard to see but this is connected to the bulb. It's just a plug and play socket thing. And then there's another black wire along with this that goes to a ground and you have to just mount it somewhere, some sort of metal like this or something onto the metal of the car. And then this comes along and goes all the way 
to a power supply down there. It's like a little box, 12 volt box. And the red for positive gets grounded here to the, you know, the positive side of the battery. And another black one right here where you see this black thing. So that's grounded as well for both this side and then the black one on that side. That's pretty much it. The install was really easy. Um, I started last night. I couldn't finish it just because I was so tired but this is how it looks just for you guys to see how the DRLs look guys that's pretty much how you do it um, <clears throat> it looks really nice I know it's really noticeable out instead of the stock yellow lights that they had um, pretty much besides that most 95 97 percent of the lighting is done with this car I just have to switch out these uh, those signal lights which I ordered them um, and then I bought a module to cut the hyper flash so Basically that and the signal lights in the back, I ordered them, so I just need to wait till next week. Besides that, all the lightings are done for the car. Um, so that's three mods in one day, guys. Well, this is morning now, technically, but three mod. I'm still gonna count it as one day. Three mods in one day, the HIDs, the, you know, the window tint, and then the DRL. So I'd say that's a pretty good day, guys. Um, but besides that, I will catch you guys later, and I'll keep you guys updated as always.